overriding Alice Shanta and Dover. It's a boy, Jay. The famous LSJ. The not so famous Orleans. Billy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're off to the gym, we're gonna train legs, back, thighs, chest, arms, triceps, legs, back, arms and triceps. Um, let's get to the video. Where are we going? Your brother love him. To the gym! Gym! Uh, with that hat. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> oh, I completely missed my hair. All down my neck. <laughs> <laughs> <Cold>. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV and to those of you who are new to watching this video who haven't been subscribed to the channel for a while that person at the start of the video was Jake he's my really good friend he helps me out a lot with the YouTube channel um, and he thought he'd just do a little bit of a takeover just for a little bit of a laugh so um, let's get into today's workout here you can see me doing 60kg overhead press and I did that for three sets of eight reps shoulder press just seems to be a genetic strong point of mine and so I love doing shoulder press when in the gym um, this was then followed up with a lateral raise kind of superset, um, but it was like a, uh, not a superset, it was a drop set. So we did six, six reps with 10 kilograms, uh, eight reps with 7.5 kilograms, and 10 reps with 5 kilograms. And so that doesn't sound like a lot, but the burn was ridiculous. That was then followed up with a back movement, the first one of the day, a seated, uh, supported row, sorry. Just trying to mix it up a little bit, hit the back from a slightly different angle to the one arm rows that I usually do. And uh, as you can see here, Jake's uh, failed bottle flip attempt. He told me not to put that in the video, but you know the rule, Jake, if it's on the camera, then it's a chance of it going on the video. So uh, that was then followed up by a set of inclined bench press, but normally we would do this with the barbell, but recently I've been trying to do mix it up with barbell and dumbbell, just to get those stabilizers in there a little bit and just make training a little bit more interesting. So here you go, you can see I did three sets of eight reps with 27.5. Normally I would do sort of around 30 to 32 kilogram range, but I did really slow controlled negative parts of the motion, guys. As you can see here, really controlling the negative, really keeping the focus on the chest as much as possible guys so then after that that was followed up by another superset triceps and biceps superset now I like to call this exercise just an overhead tricep extension but if you think about it a lot of people do skull crushes um, and it's pretty much just simulating the same uh, form of motion so but either way I like to put a nice light weight really focusing on the negative contraction and then exploding up as quickly as possible really keeping the focus on the tricep and then minimizing any other muscle groups in this motion so as you can see here that is then superset straight away with biceps it really doesn't seem that heavy at all but then by the third set and then following other exercises as well the fatigue and the burn in your arms and the pump just feels amazing guys so I would really recommend this and if you haven't seen it yet so far in all my other videos I started doing this press up thing followed by a one arm uh, bicep isolation curl definitely give that a go if it's in a couple videos back so if you haven't seen that then go and check it out but that was this workout for today guys hopefully you did enjoy it let's get on with the rest of the video How's it going guys? So it's been a while since I've done an actual vlog. So what I'm going to do is do something a little bit different and try and quickly fill you in on what you've missed. So, if you guys remember, a while back I bought Varsity tickets. It was a big whole thing about the tickets not being sold properly and then eventually I managed to get some. But Thursday was Varsity ice hockey and it was absolutely incredible. There was goals. There were chants. There were fights. And a little bit of trouble as well. But overall it was an absolutely amazing night with a great atmosphere and my throat still hurts a little bit from the chanting as you can probably tell. Now the day after that was what we like to call LDOT. LDOT, if you don't know, stands for last day of term. And the OGs of the channel, the really, really long term subscribers, will know that I've shown LDOT once or twice before. Really, all it is is a day where everyone goes to the student union, drinks all day, and drinks all night. Everyone just has a great laugh, there's loads of chants, loads of singing, loads of music, and just great company with great friends. Now, I know what you're thinking, and let me stop you guys there. I knew that LDOT was coming, I knew that last day of term was just around the corner, so I planned ahead. My workouts have been suffering, I've been feeling less, I hadn't been feeling as strong and just overall not so good. It happens, right? 
So I was pretty strategic about this. I planned a refeed day and a f***ing big one. So what I did guys was two days before I really dropped my carbs down really low, saving a lot of carbs for the empty calories that I was bound to get from the alcohol on Eldar. Because at the end of the day, throughout this entire cut, this is going to be one day where I just drink whatever I want, whenever I want and just enjoy myself. So it was not about me drinking the vodka, the vodka and the zero calorie mixes, it was just about me joining in with everyone and having a good time. So to take you guys through the day, 10am we arrive at the point, which is the student union, have breakfast and of course a pint. We get to 11am and I go to a lecture, don't know why they put a lecture on LDOT but nevertheless I went anyway because I'm paying for my education as I keep saying. And then we come to 1pm, I literally ran, I mean ran from my lecture back to the point, ready to try and get a table because there was still a chance at 1pm that we would get a table. We did in the end manage to get one so that was good. By this time the student union had got a lot busier and so the drinks were flowing, the banter was flowing and we were just all having an overall great day. We managed to stay there until we got kicked out at around 6 o'clock because they close it so they can clean up for the night time. We got back home at around 7 and ordered KFC. Yes again, I know what you're thinking. By the time 11pm came around we'd already left the nighttime part of Eldar purely because we had to be in with these wristbands that are on my wrist as you can see there. The last entry, guaranteed entry, was midnight, so we just wanted to make sure we got in nice and safe. And of course, that involved even more drinking, even more chanting, and even more good time with great friends. So yes guys, I did have a refeed day, and let's be real, a pretty big one at that. But what I wanted to get across to you guys in this video is that that's not the end of the world. That is not going to break my diet, that does not mean I've fallen off the wagon, that does not mean it's the end of the world for the cut. The cut will still carry on consistently as it always has done for the last month or so now. But what I really wanted to get across to you guys is partially just my love for Eldar and that I didn't want to miss out. And so I wasn't going to let myself, being on a cut, ruin Eldar. So I thought strategically about it and I thought, okay, I'm struggling with my workouts anyway, I can plan a refeed day around this. And so the point I'm trying to get across to you guys is that you don't have to be, even if you're dieting, if you're not, if you're into fitness, again, if you're not, you don't have to be too bothered about whether you're hitting your macros every single day. You don't have to be too bothered about having zero calorie mixes with, with vodka or, or whatever. You don't have to do that every single day. Yes, try and do that as consistently and as often as you possibly can. But don't be the person who says, oh no guys, I, I, can't, I can't do that today because I, it, would, it would take me off my diet. Like, even if you want to go out for dinner, then there's something you can have. There's always a low calorie option, there's always something that you can have. You just have to be careful, be strategic, and if you know in, in advance, then you can plan it around that as well. So LDOT for me guys was just all about living in the moment and just enjoying myself and not being that guy who singles himself out just because he's on a diet. I wanted to just get involved and just enjoy myself and I feel that that's exactly what I did. And as this channel always preaches, having no regrets. So that is going to complete uh, today's video guys, that is going to round off today's vlog. Hopefully you did enjoy it, hopefully you took something from it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys, as always remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.